Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastriani. And I'm Batman! And today, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Because we're playing Batman the video game for NES. This game is based on the 1989 Tim Burton movie. When they were, you know, good. Yes, yes. So we got, we got uh, Michael Keaton, Batman, Jack Nicholson, Joker. The yep. invasion there yep. is, is uh, Vicky Vale. I think she's Vicky Vale, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm remembering the right, the right Batman love interest. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, of course, you know, this being an old uh, NES game, not too much, but I did find it. Uh, they didn't exactly get Michael Keaton to come in and do mocap for him. No, no, no. They basically just, you know, traced pictures of him. But <laughs> uh, uh, I did find a few things. I mean, uh, the first thing we're going to go into, just because uh, this is the one where I found, like, a detailed interview. Mm. Uh, it was more general than focus on Batman, but uh, one of the things, uh, this game came up from Sunsoft. Uh, they're a fairly prominent NES developer. Mm. Uh, one of the reasons people remember Sunsoft is they had really excellent music. Uh, they're known for having a distinct style, you know, mm -hmm. doing things that uh, other NES developers didn't do. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Konami also had like their own like house style, not just like a style of music, but Boat house. Yeah, but they would uh, do different things with the NES sound chip than other developers did. Yeah. So Sunsoft is one of those developers that had their own technique, so which gave their games a distinct sound. So uh, we actually, I found an interview with the composer who worked on this game, whose name was uh, Naoki Kodaka. Uh, he basically worked at Sunsoft from the early 80s, so he was there for most of their, their work on the NES. Mm -hmm. Because as we mentioned on the show before, uh, the NES was released at the Famicom in Japan in 1983. Yep. Very long-lasting system in Japan. To, to be fair, I think most people who would be watching this would probably have a previous interest in retro games and probably know that. They might know that, but I, I mentioned it just in case. But Famicom, short for, short for Family Guy commercial. <laughs> yeah. Actually, short for Family Computer, but, uh, yeah. No, no, totally the same. Anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, Kodaka, he'd been uh, doing radio and TV commercials. Mm -hmm. Right, and he uh, went to college for music. He'd, that was what he was getting into. Hadn't days. quite started getting into building music for apps yet. No, no, that was not a thing you could do uh, before cell phones were invented. Mm. <laughs> oh, cell phones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the eighties, when you had the big giant ones. Yep. 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 Like Paul Heyman used to hit people with. Or you see in uh, if you watch the movie Rock of Ages, mm. Paul Giamatti's ha got one. Oh yeah, the giant one. I think prob in probably in Wall probably in Wall Street too. Gig movies like that. Yep. Yep. Big gigantic cell phones. Uh, but basically, uh, someone who had been ahead of him in college. Uh, was introduced him to. Uh, someone he knew at Sunsoft, because basically, you know, at the time, Kodaka basically was hanging out in arcades all day playing games. So he's Life. going to Sunsoft, he's like, I know this composer, and he basically spent all his time in arcades. Like, you guys might be interested in, and that's how he ended up working for Sunsoft. Uh, he, Before their rival, Moonsoft. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, basically, he, um, like some composers who were also like the audio sound engineer and did the composing, did the uh, programming himself, he would usually work with a team. Mm -hmm. He'd actually, you know, um, Hank put, write down things on, write down sheet music and hand it to uh, the sound uh, engineers, mm -hmm. I think is the right term, the people who knew how to program the sound chip and they would convert it to music that could run on the NES. So they weren't working with a team of a, a bounty hunter, a modified battle droid, a rebel pilot, and a... No, uh, you no. haven't read Star Wars Aftermath yet, okay? No, no, no. no really. <laughs> Wasn't doing that. But, you know, he felt like they had a collaborative process. You know, they'd, uh, especially as they got used to each other, they'd, you know, put stuff in the system, they'd play it back for him, they'd say, okay, I like this sound, I, this sound should be a little higher, maybe mm -hmm. make this a little thinner. And Fun you know, fact, they use the same sounds for pop music this, to this day, for the vocals. Ooh, let's not get into that. But, Salt. <laughs> But, uh, you know, they basically collaborated that until they felt like the track was, was good and mm -hmm. they got the final music that ended up in the game. And he also talked about how they would try to always be experimenting with the sound trip and trying to come sound chip and trying to come up with a special track, special different ways to get audio out of it mm -hmm. and kind of try to push it beyond the limits of the system. 
Like, I don't want to go into too much detail. But they didn't have not, blast processing at the they time, they so. They didn't, no. uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, so I figured, like, people, like, I'd be saying, oh, they, they combined a triangle wave and a square wave. Are people going to know what I'm talking about when I say that? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't about. know what you're talking about. You're uh, a musician. See, see I, <laughs> I, I hear that, and I'm thinking of, like, weird key moves from uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. Uh, triangle wave! <laughs> but basically, they combined two different types of sounds the system would make. And, like, it's like, can we combine this sound that the NES is g- capable of generating and this sound that it's capable of generating. And if we put those together, do we get something that sounds like a drum? So they do things like that. Um, and now if we put it in a blender, we get yeah. EDM. They do this thing. I guess they, they found a way to produce like a delay, like a reverb type effect mm-hmm. in software. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, so they're basically thinking like ways like, oh, now we can fake reverb do, doing this. Nice. And get different effects out of the system. Kadak was saying that he, you know, He'd come up with this, he'd have this idea. And he's like, okay, here's the music. And like, can you guys do it? And they'd, they'd come up with all kinds of tricks to get the hardware to produce the, the kind of sound he was looking for. Mm-hmm. Uh, specifically, you know, they, they were trying to get like sounds that no other company was doing. Uh, specifically, he remembered working with a man named Nobuyuki Hara. He was actually, uh, he was uh, the sound programmer on this game mm-hmm. he's the one that translated the music and he, he, he remembered him being especially enthusiastic you know he'd, be, he'd come to him and was like hey i found out how to get some new sounds on the sound chip please come I up with i figured out how to make it go boop and beep exactly it's like please make make a song that uses this and he'd be like okay and they he'd wait there at his home studio all night while he composed something and then run back to the run back to Sunsoft headquarters to program it into a game. And he was talking about that because he uh, remembered him fondly and it was um, kind of sad in that uh, he came down with a sudden illness in his 20s. Oh, no. So uh, Hara actually died in his mid-20s. Ugh. Yeah, so uh, there's kind of a bittersweet thing. It's like he wanted to I, call him out especially because he'd been so enthusiastic and they had a good relationship with him and he, you know, tragically died young. Ugh. Horrible. Yeah. How do the good ones die young? Yeah. And then but there are others that just should have died already. <sighs> let's not get into that. We're not going to get into that barrel of salt there. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's uh, well, the reason why Sunsoft has such good music is because, you know, they had an enthusiastic team that was always trying to push the limits of the system, see what else, how, how far they could push the music. And take it to the limit. One more time. Yes. And he felt like they had really good chemistry and uh, and they worked together. I mean, people asked, asked him, he's like, well, would you ever go back to video game music? And he's like, well, if I could get a team that was as passionate and motivated and you know, fun to work with as this team, then yeah, I'd want to do game music again. I guess uh, I tried to find some information on him, like too much, but I think he's like teaching at a university now. Interesting. So other than that, uh, I did find a few details about the game. Uh, People have actually unearthed the prototype of the game. It had completely different cutscenes. Really? Yeah, so apparently the, the cutscenes were changed completely between an early version and a uh, later version. Actually, uh, the, the prototype version, you don't actually ever fight the Joker. You, you uh, punch him out in the cutscene after, after fighting a, uh, a character that's in the final version is like the sub-boss. Like in the final version, you fight this boss and then you fight the Joker. Yep. In the prototype version, you just fought that boss. And so that was the end of the game. There'd be a cutscene where you where Batman punched out the Joker. So it's basically proto quick time events. Yeah, it's it's not even an event. You don't you don't press a button unless you want to skip the cutscene. <laughs> uh, there's some, uh, the prototype version has a one up item that's not in the final game. It's weird. Apparently, it just it shows up in the first stage and nowhere else. That's weird. And in the final game, there are I think you can get one ups from points, but honestly, you have unlimited continues. So. Uh, other than that, uh, I did find a little bit of a, uh, of, uh, it wasn't a very detailed interview, but there was uh, someone to talk to, uh, Jay Moon, who was uh, the U.S. software development manager. So he was in charge of a lot of like, the decisions made in the U.S. He mm-hmm. was uh, talking, he asked, they actually asked him about, uh, I guess the game was originally supposed to come out Christmas 89. Mm. Uh, they kind of missed that and came out early 1990. Uh, apparently, there's a rumor that uh, the reason that happened is because Jack Nixon wasn't happy with uh, how he looked in the game. 
And the J Moon was like, no, I don't, I don't remember that. Uh, actually, as far as he remembered, you know, both Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton were good to go work with, uh, though apparently they came Basinger not so much. He didn't go into detail, so I don't know what kind of problems they had with her. Interesting. Yeah, though I noticed there's a lot less Vicky Vale in the in the final version of the game than there was in the prototype. Well, so maybe she was the one they didn't like how she looked in the game. Or maybe it's just, you know, sort of the case of Jared Leto and Suicide Squad where everyone didn't like him, so they just kept cutting more and more of his scenes. Yeah, he was... You know, I didn't hate him, but he was kind of like... Uh, <laughs> I would not miss it if they recast the uh, DC. They universe. just completely, like, ignore everything that happened, the Joker's existence in Suicide Squad, put someone else in there that looks completely different. Switch it to Mark Hamill. It'll be fine. Let them do it in live action for one. No, someone just does a mocap and it's just Mark Hamill's voice. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's, he's my favorite Joker. He's such a good Joker. Oh, yeah. Though, of course, you know, another great Joker was Jack Nicholson, who we see depicted in this game since this is based on the movie in which he starred. Uh, other than that, so uh, actually he was saying that uh, the Japanese team had trouble staying within the parameters of the license with the words he used. So that may have been why the cutscenes were changed. Like especially the Batman, there is is a bit more cartoony looking, like maybe more comic book style. He doesn't really look like Michael Keaton. So. Interesting. Yeah, so that may have been why the cutscenes were changed. They wanted to get them to look more like the movie because they had a movie license, not a comic book license. Oh. Um, you know, Warner Brothers like you know you're you're tying into our big movie, make it look like the movie. <laughs> oh wait, so we can't put them in a. Red and white spandex suit? No, no, don't like that. What about the bat nipples? Yeah, no, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. No, those weren't in there. Yeah, Tim, Tim Burton's a weird guy, but he did. But he's not the one that came up with bat nipples. <sighs> whoever does, whoever did, needs like. That's that's all on. Uh, oh, what's the name of the guy that directed George Clooney one? I don't know. I, I don't. Know. I don't even remember his name. But uh, he's the one that did this thought. He's the one that thought, like, Batman should be more like the 60s series, because that's the real Batman. Like, ah. No, that's a very specific Batman. Yes. I mean, I love the 60s series, but... But that's a very specific iteration yeah. of Batman. Yeah. I don't think that's how Batman should always be. No. In little... Honestly, I think it, in some ways it did damage to Batman, and that, like, nobody was taking him seriously because of the 60s Batman series. Yeah. Didn't they do a cartoon where Adam West and... Burt Ward reprised their roles. They did do that recently, yes. They, they did. Uh, I need to look that up. They've had a comic, too. They have Batman 66. Really? It even has, like, uh, the Joker in that. It has, like, they draw in Cesar Romero's painted over mustache. Oh, my God. It's fantastic. I was looking at a, a screen cap from it. It's like, is that Cesar Romero's painted over mustache? That's wonderful. <laughs> I, I heard that in the most recent Lego Batman video game. Uh at least at the time of this recording and yeah. airing, uh, there's a secret level unlock at the end of the credits where you play as 60s Batman. Nice, nice. You're like, you know, I don't want to trash 60s Batman. I love 60s Batman. It's just a very specific instance. Yes. It's its, its own thing. It should be its own thing. It it's shouldn't sort be of how like, you see Batman. It's sort of like the way that really kind of the Dark Knight trilogy is its own specific instance. Yeah, that's not how every Batman should be. No. I don't think every Batman should sound like he has throat cancer. Uh, no. <laughs> See, now I'm just imagining him with one of those little voice box things. I'm that bad. I, I'm imagining him you sound, know what? sounding like the guy from South Park. I honestly, I don't even, I feel like this is not something we should make jokes about. No. This is, this, I feel bad about this. Let's, 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 hey, you're the one that said throat cancer. Yeah. But he's so, he's, he's got that super gravelly voice. He you, sounds you like could, he's a, You could say it was someone who's constantly lost their voice. Yeah. You didn't have to go to throat Laryngitis cancer. Laryngitis Batman? Is, yes. Is Laryngitis Batman. Laryngitis Batman. Okay, there let's, you let's, go. let's go with that. Uh, well, that one last factoid about the game, though, is that it did sell over a million copies. So, yeah, Jay Moon was saying, like, yeah, we were late, but we sold over a million copies, so we feel like it was good. So fight us. <laughs> right. Oy vey. Yeah, but... Uh, it's Batman. It's going to sell something. Yes. So now I think it's time we find out where he gets those wonderful toys. Yes. It's Batman. So we got Michael Keaton Batman. 
Uh, we can actually leave this on the screen a little. We get the, you get a little. Uh, there's a little uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. cutscene video. Kind of sets the stage a bit. So we'll uh, we'll watch that. This is again is also Batman. completely changed from the prototype version. Dun -dun -dun. I don't think it actually uses. Of course, we had to turn the volume all the way down, but uh, I don't think it actually uses. If I'm remembering correctly, any of the music from the movie, it's all original to the game. But it's it's really good music. You know what? I was sick of not being able to hear these games. You gonna plug in the uh, headphones? Ah, I'm just gonna throw one in my ear. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, see, so there's the. That's not the best uh, rendition I'm of Jack the game. Nicholson. Shouldn't affect the recording audio, right? No, it's not going to affect the recording. I mean, I'm not going to be able to hear anything, but <laughs> yeah. So, see, there's there's Gimbation, and I think that's her one and only appearance in the game. I don't know why this is so flickering. It's weird. I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think we need an epilepsy warning here. I don't know. It's Batman. So, you, are you hearing the uh, the fun Sunsoft beats? Yep. All right, Them so hot beats. Dun dun. I'm gonna I'm gonna take, take this on because I have played now. I did it, it before. I have played this before and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, try not to hum along because that'll be weird. <laughs> Batman. But yeah, so some of the new ones are a bit more uh, a bit more animated. He's very purple. Yep, he is purple. He killed that guy. He exploded. Yeah. Well, it's it's eighty nine Batman. Kind of angry. He does straight up kill uh, the he, Joker at the end of the movie, he, after all. He, you know why he's angry? His parents are dead! Exactly. And he knows who killed him this time. So before he's I. He's actually in, like, he looks like he's in the bat, the armored suit from Batman vs. Superman. Mm. I guess I'm, I'm guessing he was purple just because the game's so dark and they wanted him to stand. Yeah. Out. You only have so many colors on NES. But before I run into any other enemies, uh, there's the pause button. That's the pause start. screen right okay. there. So you have three different weapons you got Batarangs. Uh, you've got uh, this... Probably a trank gun? Yeah, it throws ex shoots explosives or something. Uh oh. And uh, you've got uh, this little jerkin-looking thing, uh, which sh uh, shoots a spread of three. You see the number is 20. Uh, you're powered by pellets, which you can get by beating enemies. Interesting. And uh, each one uses a different mouse. So the batarangs only need one. Uh, the gun is two, and this thing is three. Interesting. Yeah. Batman. I have fire. Ah, uh, my timing was off. At least we can jump here. I'm going to keep going this way, though. I'm Batman. He is Batman. He's just kind of punching people in the crotch. He is. Oh, uh, well, it's effective. That's, Look, that's, that's mean. But then again, so his parents are dead. Yes, he's very angry. So there are a couple different ways you can go up here. But I'm trying to remember there was an area. I want to show off a very specific feature of this game. Wall. Batman can wall jump. Ooh, fancy. So you can get different. The way he walks is so funny. Just his walk cycle with his hands up in front of his head like that. Yeah. He's just like walking like, I'm Batman, I'm Batman, I'm Batman. Oh, I'm yeah, he's Batman, a tough guy. I'm you Batman, know what? I'm Batman. Oh. Here's what happened is that I was in a different section of the, of the stage. Okay. I'm Batman, I'm oh. Batman, I'm Batman, I'm Batman, I'm Batman. It's like walking and huffing and puffing. It's been a while, so I gotta, I gotta remember the proper way to avoid those mines. Die. Yes, here we go. This is the area I was looking for. So normally you think, oh, I gotta fight all those f uh, flamethrower guys, but nope. Wall jump. Wall hacks. Exactly. So this Batman is some can, pretty uh, nifty music. No, it's got really great music. Like I said, Sunsoft was known for having really great music. These guys kind of speed toward you, so you gotta. Give them all space. They're like even more evil mouse droids from Star Wars. Right. Yes, Batman. I know what you're talking about. I do actually know what you're talking about. Okay. I understood that reference. Yes, there you go. I, I keep thinking it's like, okay, so I'm a little maxed out. So that's good. So, but I'm going to save those because uh, they're good against the boss. The first boss, if I remember correctly, is Killer Moth. Actually, you know what? Oh, Batman. Why does the battering cost energy if it comes back to you? I don't know. 
Because That's mean. gameplay. Gameplay reasons. Yeah, and then in the Arkham games, you can just throw an infinite amount of them because his pockets are bigger on the inside. Yep. Because he has the, he has oh, the yeah. carry logic of a Bethesda game. Yeah, I think that... Oh, wow. Oh, Awkward. You blew up. I did. Explode. It's because I keep getting hit with those, uh, those mines. I gotta, uh, have, you tried, have you tried not getting hit by the mines? I have. Uh, what about throwing a battering? Mean, no, you just need to jump it. The problem was I was trying to avoid other enemies at the same time, and that was screwing me up. You know what I mean? Maybe. Screwing up my timing for avoiding the mines. You know what you should use as a weapon? Justice! Oh, I have justice in my fist, sir. Where were the other drugs going? I'm not gonna kill you, but I don't have to save you either. Uh, there we go. Yes, that Batman is so angry. Well, you know why? His parents are dead! That is true. Uh, I guess I should use some kind of ranged weapons against these guys, because I'm getting hit. And I don't want to... And you're getting all deadified. Batarangs are pretty cheap, so... Well, I mean, to a billionaire like Batman, anything's really cheap. Yeah, that's true. So a lot of these uh, enemies seem to be... Uh, oh, my God. Based on uh, DC villains. So I like, like those ninja guys are apparently supposed to be KG Beast. Interesting. Yes. Who then, I don't really know anything about, aside from the fact that he's named KG Beast. And then for seemingly no <laughs> reason, awesome. Darkseid shows up. Yeah. Now this is, uh, supposed to be Killer Moss. No, I, I'm making fun of Batman versus Oh, Superman. okay, I see what you're doing. Wow, it switched me back to the, uh, default weapon. And it switched me back to punching. That's interesting. Come on, you get it. There we go. Yeah, so, you know, NES game patterns. <laughs> Precisely so. Yes. -na 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 I am Batman, I have machine guns. Yep, because they were taking it back to being dark. Dark Batman. Uh, okay, there was no reason for me to go up there. Good to know. But it, it, this game hasn't even started. But, how you okay, but here's the question. Yes. Does this game have bat shark repellent? It does not. But there are no sharks, so it's okay. So maybe it does have bat shark repellent. Yeah, good and point. That's why there aren't I'm any just, sharks. I'm just using it the whole time, yep. I went red. And I, was, I fell asleep watching that movie because I was like half asleep when we started, yeah. but I swear he was there and the shark was hanging on to him. I was sitting next to my friends. I'm like... Yeah. He's got bat, bat shark repellent spray in his belt, doesn't he? Of course he, he does. Like, what? Like, he, he's going to have a can of aerosol spray that, that repels sharks. Batman sure enough. always prepared. Sure enough. <laughs> he pulls it out of his belt, and they're like, what the heck? I'm like, what can I say? It's right, Batman. I don't need this guy. I don't got to waste my ammo on these guys. This guy, though, he's kind of close to the edge of the platform, so I'm This is that. definitely some complicated music for this era. Oh, yeah. They pushed it. Absolutely. Because well, you can definitely hear a driving beat mm. that's changing tones. Okay. Let's see. How and that even, happen? like, changes beat. It's not just, like, constant. Yeah. And then you died and poop. Yeah, yeah that's not going to. Oh, boy. The poop burned you. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be Toxic Quake. I think this is supposed to be the Ace Chemical Factory. Oh. So, if I remember that jump, I need to jump off one of the platforms and, like, wall jump off of it to get across that gap. I mean, I'll try just jumping it, but I think I have to wall jump there. I know there are places in the game where you have to, uh, you know, kind of drop down, grab the platform, and wall jump off to make, a, make the jump. Uh, this is also, uh, I haven't mentioned it yet, this is like Mario in that you can uh, do different jumps depending on how long you hold on the button. Interesting. So there's a lot of tough platforming in this. 
It's been a while though. I'll, I'll see how far I can get. I have, uh, I have gotten pretty close to being in the game, but uh, I never got all the way through. The last time I played it, I got to the final level, but I didn't have time to keep playing to see if I could beat it. You know. Mm-hmm. Little B icons, I think, are just score I score items. So there's. Up. Are we gonna get any uh, crazy scenes from Scarecrow in this? No. Where Scarecrow's suddenly not there's this. a fourth wall break and the game seems like it's breaking. Nope. The cast is kind of weird in this. Like aside from the Joker, there's mostly just uh, B-list guys or guys that I'm not sure are even actually real Batman. Villains. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so if I tried to jump here, I would hit the ceiling, so I've got to jump off of there. There we go. I didn't catch a wall previously, um, is what the problem was. Have you played the Arkham games? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I, uh, I haven't played the last one because uh, I, haven't I didn't have the money for it. But, uh, I played the first two all the way through. Uh, I want to uh, get all the uh, Riddler stuff in Arkham City, but oh my god. So much. <laughs> yeah, there's there's so much of it. It gets kind of, uh, gets kind of, um... I personally have been playing Skyrim Remastered recently. Yeah. Except not seriously at all. I have lightsabers. Oh, yeah. And a TARDIS. Yes, I can do that good. A TARDIS, that's excellent. Those are some weird... There are just some weird enemies in this. There are. Like I said, it, a lot of people oh, like... Oh, 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 uh, I didn't oh, want to do that. Oh. And also, I was on the wrong weapon. I oh, no. Just punch this guy. Oh, no. Uh. Punching is sufficient for them. Punching no is sufficient for a lot of things. Yes, no reason to waste my ammo. Okay, I remember the section... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. There we go. See? Batman. I'm Batman. Exactly. So you might want to talk here because I'm going to oh, have to concentrate man. just a little bit. <laughs> this is getting intense though. Yep. Right it's away. Like... I'm only in the second stage and there's already some Batman. Batman. Do we get any Robin in this? No Robin, remember. Oh, right, movie. movie. Yes. So we also don't get any Catwoman. No Catwoman, no. Well, what's the point? Uh, the point is platform jumping, apparently. Oh, I jumped too high. Oh. Awkward. And no grappling hook. Nope, no grappling hook. Uh, there's a grappling hook in the Genesis version. We may take that out at some point. It's, uh, it's apparently a completely different game. Well, that's so awkward. I, I haven't really played it much. So I bought the game, right? Because I saw it at the store. I like that the enemy actually uh -huh. damage is good. Uh, here's the thing about the Genesis. Uh, we'll probably mention this again whenever we actually get to playing it. But the uh, Genesis version uses screenshots from the NES version on the packaging. Really? Yes. So I was I looking like, oh, awesome. It's like a Genesis version of the NES Batman game. Sounds good. And then it's not. Like, no, it's not. Man, these uh, knockoff Viper droids are really... Yeah. So here's a, here's a little technique here is uh, these guys... You can just will, farm. You can just farm them. I'm going to do that because I'm low on health, and I think this is my last life. It's the final life down. Yep. Okay, I don't actually need most of this stuff, so I'm just going to wait until I get a heart. No? Okay. Oh. Uh, really? Okay, these guys aren't cooperating, so uh, I'm going to move on for the sake of the video. Do it for the vine. Yes. Because nobody wants to, I don't think anybody wants to watch me just sitting there. Also, the uh, vine is vines. dead. It is. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened, but uh, I guess they weren't making up in their advertising. Because, because my parents are dead. Oh, really? I didn't punch for somebody. Oh, was I stuck in my landing animation? Probably. There we go. I, just, I guess I just had to Oh, wait. Why are you doing that? Uh, you're just like, throwing a battering at it. Instead of e losing all your health. Yeah, no, that's, that's a fair point. Now you're dying. Now I you're going to die. You're going to die. Okay. You're going to die. You're going to die. Oh, you died. Yeah, I died. 
Womp, womp, womp. But here's the feature of this game. You know how many continues it have? Unlimited continues. I'm back. I'm Justice. Yes, and I still have nothing. I am the night. I'm the night. You could probably even use that shuriken one to... I could, but instead I'm just going to ignore him. And take lots of damage. I took one health picture full of damage. That's like 50 health. Fine. It's totally fine. Everything's fine. And look, I got a heart. Everything's Why completely do you fine. punching people in the groin? That's so mean. Uh, it's effective. You know, Batman's all about being effective. Yeah, but why are you gonna... Why are you gonna go there? Bam, 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 bam. Apparently the items are not affected by the conveyor belt. Uh, nope. Video game logic. Of course. I thought that's how it worked in real life. Uh, Batman. Aha! Uh -huh. I exactly love that Batman I is the weapon. Oh, yes. It should just say justice. Exactly. No, that's when you summon the police at the end of the game. <laughs> Your weapon oh, is justice. Uh, this game's take a lot of hits, so let's try using... No. Nope. Oh. That's not gonna hit. You have a rocket launcher! Yep. Rocket launcher. Oh, this guy takes a lot of hits. This is, this is really wasteful. Especially since there are no Just burritos involved. What's up? No. Oh, I want a burrito for dinner. Do I want to go down there? No, I don't think I do. It's been a while. I don't remember. Oh, you landed right on the I did. spinny thingy majigger. I don't remember how... And now his parents are dead. Ooh. I don't remember if that's safe or not, or if that's gonna kill me going down there. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna avoid it. Oh. And uh, I should not have gone this way. Okay. You broke it. Yep. And oh, I had the enemy free spawn. Because any NES game. Because their parents are dead. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't too bad. I didn't really lose. Oh, not a lot of air control for Batman. I should remember that. He's uh, uh, super maneuverable. <coughs> Nothing is getting me is that it does seem to take a second to uh, punch again when you hit the ground. So I think for that I want to punch a little bit before I hit the ground. Here's a weird little Batman fun fact that's just kind of... Uh some more recent Batman stuff. Right, so, first bo uh, in second boss. Batman versus Superman, wow. his parents were played by uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and, and uh, Lauren Cohan, who are both stars in uh, the very famous Walking Dead TV series. Now, what's funny is those are the two people that played Bruce's parents, but in The Walking Dead, uh, Lauren plays a woman named Maggie, who is married to a man named Glenn, who, spoiler alert, is murdered by Negan, who is played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Oh, right. This thing. Okay. This I can just punch. So it's a little weird. Oh, oh no, I can't just punch it. Hey, you died. I did. That happened. That's true. That's an interesting little sound effect it does for when you respawn. Yep. You got some good sound effects in there. It's like... Yeah, it's because he's Batman. No, it should say, I'm joining my parents! Uh, why did you say that name? Why did you say Martha? Oh, I'm running out of resources here. Alright. Well, maybe wow. you shouldn't break things. You can only hit it when the eye is there. Yes, I know. That's what I was trying to do. But you're not. I, I understand that. I'm definitely going to have to punch him. All right. Timing is proving difficult. Wow. Hey, he wow. died again. Yeah, no, I see that. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the help. You're out of ammo. Yes, yes, no, no, thank you, Ian. You're, right, uh, you're right. being very helpful. Can, can we use, like, cheat codes to fix that? No. This game doesn't have cheat codes. 
I thought being Batman is just a cheat code already, so right. it doesn't matter. You can just use cheat codes. Yeah, no. You have to, uh... Wow. So these guys cause contact damage, so that's, uh... Oh, really? That is part of what's making this difficult. One health. You oh, did it! Fletched it out. Oh. That was close. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yep, so wait till they get a load of me. That was random. Okay, this is gonna be annoying. You oh guys man, are, it's the frog guy really, from the X-Men. Really hard. Usually I would use uh, the triple attack to beat them, but I, I don't have enough ammo. Are they the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Okay. Nope, nope. No, they do hang out in sewers. Don't oh, I forgot about these mines. Oh, I shouldn't have known that. Oh, I thought bats couldn't swim. Well, I guess that's where the man part comes <coughs> in. The Batman part. He has a man's ability to swim, and I landed on that thing. That killed and me. a bat's ability to die. Yeah. Okay, we'll give it one more, one more shot. Dun 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 dun. All right, so I got like twenty-one of these. Hey, it made with the dying. It did. That's, yeah, these guys are dangerous, which is why I use my most powerful weapon on them. Well, yeah, I mean, they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're mutant something. <sighs> so close. Knock off Killer Crocs. Right. Yeah, I don't know why they're not Killer Crocs, because that would make sense. But no, they're uh, whatever those things are. They are actually the lizard from Spider-Man. Oh, it could be. I, they're, they're just some weird enemies in this. Don't seem to have anything to do with Batman. Ah, oh, I didn't grab it. That was awkward. Death. Oh no. More awkward. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Oh no. Okay. Wow. Womp, yeah. Womp. Yeah. Yeah. Did I mention this game is hard? No. Okay. I should do that now then. Did I mention I suddenly have a craving for burritos? Uh, yeah, that, 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 sounds, uh, that sounds normal. Because usually at some point in us shooting episodes, I for some reason crave food. Yeah. Some random food. It's often pizza. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. I've had a lot of pizza recently. Fair enough. And I haven't gone to Moe's in a long time because I live far away from it now. I got you. I mean, there's one in stores, but yeah. I don't want to deal with the Yukon campus. Batman! There we go. That's what I meant to do. Oh no, I've only got one. You time. know what Batman's favorite dessert is? Batflyer! There you go. Ah, oh, come on, die. Just die. Just die already. Does he call his own defecation guano? I feel like he does not. That doesn't seem like a Batman move. I mean, I know he's uh, got a lot of bat stuff, but. Uh, it's the bat toilet. Especially, you know, past the, uh, past the 60s Batman era. He's not really, uh, as into calling everything Bat, whatever. I don't know. Lego one seems to be into that. He does, but he's, of course, also, uh, you know, a bit more, uh, comedy Batman inspired. Oh, True. Oh, I didn't even notice that thing up there. Whatever, I don't care about it. na 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 <laughs> oh, oh, this game is nice to you. Uh, difficult for length. Yep. What's more difficult, Batman or Dark Souls? Uh, Batman. Uh, oh, and you landed right on the thing. I did, but whatever. And oh, you landed right on the thing. It's fine. I'm, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here now. Yes. Thank you. How are we're, you? We're doing okay. Ah, really? Come on, you can make the shot. I used to bulls on my rounds in my T16 back home. home yes. They're no bigger than two meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure that I could get farther, but uh, this, that, that's a good luck. You know, we got yeah. to the third level. Yeah. That's, that's the place where a lot of people it's get stuck. It's not like you're going to get any new gear. No, no, no. 
it's it's the same. It just gets harder, and you have to do trickier jumps. Yeah. I think we got good luck. So. All right. There we go. There you go. Um, I think it's you know classic game. Great music. Uh, the gameplay is pretty good. Yeah. It's not an easy game, but you know, once you get good at it, you, you can get pretty far. Good. Yeah. You just gotta practice. I have gotten pretty close to the end. Uh, again, I've made it to the last stage, but at the time that I made it to it, I just ran out of time, and I, I probably could have beaten it if I kept going. But uh, I mean, the Joker's never been much to, of a hand-to-hand fighter. No. Except that one time in Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I think you. I think you can basically rush him. I mean, of course, and a lot of the bosses have patterns, so if you know the pattern, um, you can get past them. Yeah. If you don't know the pattern, the NES. Just, yeah. If you don't know the pattern, they will destroy you. <laughs> but, uh, this isn't exactly, you know, I can't even think of a difficult boss these days yeah. off the top of my head, actually. No. Uh, uh, it's a lot less crazy bosses. I mean, it's I not don't... like it's one of the secret raid bosses in Borderlands. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not going uh, to be spending an hour whittling down the hill. Yes. I mean, you know, it moves pretty well. I mean... The graphics look good. It's I, a lot of people were like, were like, why is Batman purple? Uh, that is kind of weird. But you only have so many colors with the NES. They wanted something. They wanted it to be dark and still have them stand out. Yeah. So. At least it wasn't like white. Yeah. That would be weird. weird. Yeah. Suddenly he's Moon Man. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing maybe a blue palette might not have stand, uh, stood out from the background as well. So. Also, people bit. might have thought it would might it might have been too 60s Batman. Yeah. You know, they did also want to evoke. The uh, Batman from the 1989 movie who wore black. Yes. So. And his suit in this inspired Samuel L. Jackson's lightsaber. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's funny. You can actually get like a, a figure that's like the the NES Batman color. Really? It's, it's hilarious. You get a purple Batman. Uh, wow. I forget if it's a statuette or a figure. Probably a pop vinyl. Yeah. I've seen a lot of Batman pop vinyls. No, no, no. No, there's it's like different iterations. You can actually tell the difference between uh, characters. Oh wow! <laughs> it's, it's an actual like realistic proportion character. It's not, Interesting. It's not Funko Pop where they take the same figure and just paint it differently. And I own a lot of them. Yeah. No, I don't understand Funko Pops because they all look the same. I mostly got them. Funny enough, I mostly got them just because there wasn't much Orphan Black merchandise out. So, so it was that or nothing. It was that or nothing. But what's funny is they're all basically the same, but only slightly different. But in Orphan Black, most of the characters. Yeah. So it actually makes sense. So it actually makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and then one has a pencil in her eye. Ooh, that doesn't sound fun. Oh, uh, well, she got a cybernetic eye after. Oh, there you go. Some brain damage yeah. though. Mm. Spoilers. Awkward. Yes. It doesn't mean anything to me because I've never managed to watch the show. By the time this airs, the final season will have aired, so. There we go, yeah. Yeah, well, Fighting back on. About it. Back, back on. <laughs> back, Matt, man. Uh, again, a lot of people remember it as a classic. It's a licensed game that's actually good. Unfortunately, because it's a licensed game, you're going to have to check down the NES card, uh, which is uh, a more expensive process prospect with NES games every day. Yep. I'm hoping for the day people are like, yeah, we're not collecting this stuff anymore and the price has tumbled back down. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. It'd be nice. Nope. Probably not. I I so miss the days when I could be like, uh, yeah, five bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you only NES get game. that if you're at a tag sale and people don't know what they got. Yeah, which unfortunately does not happen to me. Yeah. yeah. You just got to go driving around in the summer yeah, on the I weekend. I just don't, I don't make it out on... Uh, just got to tool around. See what happens. Be amazed. Yeah, I, I bought, I'd love to. I, love I bought, to I bought eight tracks. Like oh, there you go. Yeah, we unfortunately don't. Want, we still have some eight tracks, but we don't have an eight track player. I had so one. Awkward. The record player on it broke, so mm. I replaced it with an actual record player. Yeah, my my parents decided that we didn't need it anymore, and I was kind of upset with them with that because you know we still ha- a have a bunch of eight tracks. Granted, we weren't really listening to eight tracks, but one of them was the recordable eight track, which is one of the few times I actually got my grandmother to. Uh, to uh, like appear on a tape with me, so you know we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of stuff, you know, like with her. Well, you voice. can find eight track players yeah. around. I'm just saying, it would it would be nice to be able to listen to. Yeah, I screwed with my friends when we were hanging out in my room. I was like, I'll oh, we'll go put on some music, and I took an eight track and I clunked it into the machine, and they're like, 
What was that? It's an 8-track. Yes, yes. Go, when you go home, tell your parents or you're listening to 8-tracks. Yep. They'll be like, what? Sinbad's favorite media format. I can't say I've ever watched any of his stand-up. Oh, I, I, I haven't either, but like in the commercials I saw for one, he, I, they always show the clip of his bit where he's like, bring back the 8-track, kid. So that's... It's the NES of CDs. It's the NES of music. You shouldn't even say that because people don't buy CDs anymore, either. I do. Vinyl came back. Oh, well, yeah. CDs but that's for a reason. But it's essentially the NES cartridge for music. Yeah. I like to buy CDs and rip my own MP3s. So. Yeah, that's what I do. I know that's not what everybody I like does. to have hard copies. Yeah. Anyhow, we've plus totally a lot of Plus, a lot of the old school bands still do the thing where they put all the lyrics in the booklet mm, nice and like, like put that. pictures and stuff. Like I the like new Metallica that. album had that. There you go. I, I do like it when they have lyrics in the, in the yeah, CD booklet. That's boss. Anyway, so Batman. Yeah, that was good. We like it. It's good. Yeah. yeah there you go. There's not much else you can say about it. Uh, yeah. I mean, hopefully you guys, you know, got a good listen to music, great music. Yeah. Uh, you can, Sun Soft did some good stuff back in the day. You can uh, go deal some justice and find where the other drugs were going. Yes, exactly. While your parents are dead. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, no one will be saying the name Martha, though. So no. you don't have to worry about the scenario. No. No, no you don't have to save Martha. But you do get to fight the Joker. <laughs> yep. Where do you get a load of him? Why so serious? Wrong Joker. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to hurt you, you really, really bad. You know where this one got the scars. <laughs> he, was, he was thrown into a tank of acid by Batman. Yes. Yeah, actually, spoilers, because people might not ever actually see the ending, but uh, apparently in the, in, the, in the game, they made it even... Uh, more explicit that Batman kills the Joker because he just knocks him straight off the clock tower. He just, like, punches him right through the head. He just punches him, he goes straight off the clock He's tower. Like, ah! Unlike in the movie where, you know, he attached the, uh... Which, again, is, is really Batman straight up killing him because what did he think was going to happen? <laughs> you know? Even if, even if the gargoyle hadn't come off the tower, he's, you know, that, that, that cable was pretty long. He was going to smack into the wall. It wasn't going to be good for the Joker. The Joker was dead either way. It's not really him not killing the Joker. He, he straight up killed the Joker. Yeah. Batman needs to kill more of his enemies, though. It would save Gotham a lot of money. But it would cost DC a lot of money. DC can fight me. Well, I mean, they're an entire company, so I don't know if you really want to take that on. But, uh... Let's go. Anyhow, play Batman is pretty good. Uh, Be more interesting than my daily work life. <laughs> Anyhow, I've been Dan Mastriani. You can catch me on Twitter at, at New Type Cola. I'm Ian Butterfield. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at ENG Butterfield. Uh, you can find the show uh, at Retro Game CNCT and Facebook.com backslash Retro Game Connect and Retro Game Connect uh, Right? That's what it was. Uh, it's right. been a while. Um, Get in touch with us. Let us know what you thought of the games we played. Let us, know, let us know if there are games you'd like us to play. If we can get our hands on a copy, we might just play it. Yes. Uh, if you enjoyed us delivering justice with Batman's fists, make justice. sure you give this episode a like. And, of course, if you want to catch future episodes in which we may play some other superhero games, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, but the most important thing to do is make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect. Justice!